And so the Biden administration has put a bunch of people in jail for violating something called FARA, the Foreign Agent Registration Act, 1936-ish. It's been on the books for, you know, 90 years. Um, and it's never been enforced ever until recently, until really the Trump era and Biden era. So, but the law requires people who lobby on behalf of foreign governments to register. It's that simple. And this is the largest lobby in the United, most effective lobby in the United States on behalf of a foreign government. Are they registered with FARA? They are not, but they should be. Well, how how can that how can that be? How can they put Paul Manafort in jail, which they did on a FARA violation, and a bunch of other people in jail on FARA violations? But the largest and most effective and most feared foreign lobby working for a foreign government doesn't have to register under the law. That's insane. FARA applies not to f foreigners, to foreign agents right. Right? of foreign it's, principles, agents of foreign principles. It's Americans lobbying on behalf of foreign governments. Correct. So this is, APAC is exactly what FARA is meant for. Now they would say, and we have a First Amendment right. Okay, well, I agree, I, I agree with you there, but we also have election laws. And to the it's disclosure, right? We're, they're not, FARA doesn't say you can't say Thomas Massey's, you know, an ignorant hillbilly. You're allowed to say that if you want to, but we just want to check where your money's coming from. Tell us where it's coming from, what you're spending it on, and if you are lobbying on behalf of a foreign country. So they should be, now to your point, they should be registered with FARA. This is what FARA is, is where there's gray area, right. where it's an American representing a foreign country. Yes. Let's let's look and see if you're getting any money from that foreign country. Are you a dual citizen with that foreign country? Uh, are you being directed by, for instance, is Netanyahu speaking to your group, advising you on your next move? Those are you getting money from the military industrial complex? Yeah. Like th they would, I think, be okay with a war with Iran, like an all out, you know, apocalyptic war with Iran. Whereas there are people in Israel say, whoa, hold on a second. We'd, we'd rather not have a war with Iran, but APAC does things that lead us in that direction. And so they're kind of like, what the NRA is to gun owners, APAC right. is to Israel, or what the Farm Bureau is to farmers, APAC is to Israel. In other represents words, a faction. Right. They represent a faction, but usually a corporate faction. That, uh, and they're using the imprimatur of grassroots that they've diluted or confused into bullying congressmen. And the NRA does that and Farm Bureau does that. I'm, I'm picking on some you know, other right-wing groups here.